Okay, this is my solar-based uh, ultra-capacitor charger setup. We have a 5-volt solar panel, which I purchased off of eBay. You get these, um, you get like two of these things for $12, including shipping. I've got um, a uh, DC to DC step-down buck converter. And this can convert, you know, 6 volts to whatever voltage you want below 6 volts or 30. I think the maximum is 30 volts and it has to be at least half a volt lower than um, the maximum input voltage. So this solar panel puts out 5 volts. So I, so I tune this little uh, potentiometer that's on the buck. You can see it there, that little blue thing. That one I've tuned that down to, um, turn that down to give a maximum of uh, 2.8 volts and then that's been fed into this ultra capacitor which is a 1500 farad uh, ultra capacitor from Maxell boot is a boot cap you can see uh, you can see the logo here and uh, this solar cell puts out um, a total of uh, 500 milliamps so that's a total of so 500 milliamps times uh, 5 volts is about 2.5 watts and this buck is rated for a maximum of I think it's more than an amp so it's well within that I've actually put a diode in there in the circuit you can see that right let me show you where that diode is it's right here this diode the LN4001 diode because I noticed there is some backflow. It's about one and a half milli milliamps of current out of the charged capacitor back through the buck when there's no when there's no um, light shining on the panel or when there's no input. So you know just to slow down the drainage of the capacitor. So what we'll do is I'm gonna let this charge for the next uh, few hours, I'm going to time it to see how long it charges, but it's completely discharged as of now, and we'll follow it. All right, be back with you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just measuring the voltage across the leads on the ultra capacitor, which is measuring 0 0.289 volts, and the time now is about 9.25 a.m. So we'll follow this to see how it charges up at a later point in the day. We've got a fairly clear sky today, not many clouds, in fact no clouds, so this will be a great day for testing how fast this uh, panel can charge this 1500 farad ultra capacitor. Okay, the time now is 12, just 12.15, so it's only been going for a couple of hours and the capacitor is charged up to 2.3 volts on this, uh, with this panel, with this 5 volt, 500 milliamp panel. So that's a pretty impressive rate of charging. And the uh, buck converter, there's a 92% efficient uh, for power loss, converting from the 5 volts to the uh, uh, 2.4 volts. The time's about 2 p.m. and it's 3.05 oh, 3 volts that's being generated from the from the buck converter, as you can see there, I'm just putting it just before the diode that goes to the um, this capacitor. So that's giving me about 3.3.05 volts, and that's not really enough to charge the capacitor up any further. Because when I do the same with the capacitor, what I'm getting on it is 2.3 2.35 volts. And it's pretty much stuck on 2.35 volts. I just adjusted, adjusted the buck output to 3.16 volts so that should provide more difference in voltage to further charge up this capacitor beyond the 3.35 uh, volts that it seems to be stuck on. Alright then, we'll give you a further update in just okay, a second. Okay, after trimming the part on the, uh, on the uh, buck, I'm getting much better input into the capacitor. Now it's gone up to 2.6 volts 
and I don't want it to go beyond that. Uh, I don't really want it to go beyond 2.7, so I'm going to keep a close eye on it to see if this trimming value on this part is going to be sufficient to stabilize it at uh, 2.6 volts. If it goes any higher and gets too close to 2.7, I risk damaging the uh, capacitor. Okay, with that adjustment, I'm getting 2.75 volts, and it's stabilized at that. So I'm probably going to come down a little bit on that trimmer part there so it doesn't go too much above 2.7 because it'll decrease the life of the capacitor. Okay, now we're about to test out some short circuits on this capacitor. Are you ready for some action? melted it in two halves then. These wires are getting pretty hot. I'll try a thinner slip strip of it here and see if I can just make it get really hot. Oops, it just mounted right through it. 